Lord Ramsbottom, good afternoon. It's now 12 months since the launch of PTSD resolution, since you launched it here at the House of Lords. How would you say it's gone over the last 12 months? Well, it's a, it's a year ago since the launch here in the House of Lords, which I was very pleased to host. And to me, the two things that have marked this year, first of all, obviously the increased number of therapists in 250 is a considerable achievement. But secondly, is how many people have come back to me from conferences and meetings at which PTSD resolution has been present, saying how impressed they were with what it was said, what it was standing for, and how it was approaching it. And that must be good for the organisation. Lord Ramsbottom, looking forward to the next 12 months, what needs to change nationally in relation to military PTSD? What changes do you want to see? Well, my major concerns about the way veterans are treated, in fact, are that there is a lack of coordination between all the organisations who are meant to be supporting veterans. However, the most encouraging aspect out of that is, I think, the publication of the report by Professor Hugh Strawn into the Armed Forces Covenant. And last week, the crossbenchers, of which I'm one, were addressed by David Cameron. And I asked him what he meant by and intended the Armed Forces Covenant to be. And he said it was the debt owed by the nation to the armed forces in return for them putting their lives on the line and that it must be visible, it must be fair and it must be lifetime support for them and their families. Now that sends a message to me, to all the organisations and what I would like to see particularly in this area is the cracking of this restriction that NICE put really on all the therapists dealing with PTSD and other mental health conditions of veterans working together knowing how much PTSD reaches people who the other organizations don't. And generally as a, as a, as a national initiative what are the organizations that, that you talked about in the past that ought to be coming together now? Well, well in, in particular, the organisation, obviously, which I focus on is Combat Stress, because Combat Stress has got a national name. And Combat Stress, people think of as being the, the one and only organisation dealing with it. Well, as we know, and Combat Stress admit, the therapies that they practise don't reach everyone. What I would like to see them be is much more of a coordinator where all the organisations who can help people affiliated to them so that when somebody is assessed as needing a particular treatment then they can be put in touch with the person who suits their condition no matter where they come from if they can provide the right treatment. And finally Lord Ramsbottom, do you have a message for the therapists here today at the PTSD Resolution Conference? My message to the therapists is, again, two things. First of all, thank you enormously for what you do, and most particularly for the way in which you do it. And I'm not here just speaking about veterans from the armed forces in society. I'm also talking about the work that is being done in our prisons, where very sadly there are a number of veterans. And the second thing is that do please keep your, in mind that we're all working for you to try and see whether we can improve the situation for you in that you are recognised for what you do. You know that it's good. You know that it works. So do we. And we'll go on on your behalf to try and persuade the powers that be to recognise that. This is Patrick Ray for PTSD Resolution at Westminster.